Paulo, thank you again for taking the time to do this interview. Love your t-shirt. Oh, right. You're part of the M23. Right, M23. <laughs> what does it say? No? No. How, how would you translate that? How would you translate that? I said something and I take it. I'm taking it back. I'm not saying it anymore. I'm taking it back. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mind. Okay. Right. Who said that? The boy, what our president? He dared to say in front of everybody that as a president of Senegal, I told you before that I'm not going to run for a third term. Two term only because we need to build strong democracy in our country. So I'm not going to run for a third term to violate the constitution. And nobody can do that anymore because that has been set and run in our constitution. A few months after, he said, no, I did not say that. At least I did. I'm not saying that anymore. I'm taking it back. Third term. If you believe in that, that's your business. That's not my business. Because you believe in promises and don't believe in promises because I'm not serious. So how can a president, a role model for people to lie in front of everybody, to tell them that don't take me seriously? That's our president. 85 years old, officially. We know that it's more than 85 years. And now he's trying to run for a term for seven years as head of state. So he's going to be minding something. And people are raising that issue around that aspect of his age. And he's telling people, no, I'm just going to be president for two years in order to finish my job. Who can finish job in this war? You cannot finish job in this war. You always pass away with an idea in mind, that to realize something in mind. Regular people, ordinary people, or president, we always have something in mind to realize in this war. You do your job after two years, you pass to someone else to run the country and to build strong democracy in our country. It's time for Ablaiwat to go because the country is really messed up these days when the court decided to allow Ablaiwat to run for a third term in our country. Shame on the Constitutional Court. Shame on Ablaiwat. And before that, he gave them a lot of money, luxury cars, just to corrupt them so then they can be in his favor to decide for him to run for the term. Everywhere in the country, capital cities, countryside, people are fed up, outraged, and people are addressing that issue to fight, to fight against that verdict given by the court. And here in New York State, in Washington DC, in Canada, everywhere, the diaspora, we are mobilizing people to be part of that movement. To be part of that movement that is the movement that belongs to our future. The future of our generation. To build strong democracy, not just for us, but for the country and for future generations. That's why we are here today. Gold, hot, snow, whatever. Mother Nature will be with us or against us. We will stay strong to say no to Ablaiwad. We don't want you anymore. You were elected democratically. You have to be honest and we're looking to give power to people who are elected by the people. Because we give power to the people, power to the people, the power belongs to people, the country belongs to people. People will choose who is going to be the president in February, 2000, February 2012, February 26, 2012. So, um, since you know, you said that the uh, constitutional court validated her, his candidacy. That was last Sunday. We see that even in Senegal, the the youth uh, has been pr protesting. So now you're here today in front of the Senegalese con uh, consulate, also to protest. What will be your next move after this? Our next move, we will go 
to the UN because we did that two weeks ago to say the same thing. I think it was a few days, two or three days before Friday, the day the court was supposed to give the verdict. And the court did that on Friday and we were before the UN on Monday to protest. And from here, the next move will be to go there again, go back to the UN and to make the international community know that we will stay strong against that verdict given by the court, constitutional court, in favor of Ablaiwa. That is a big violation of our constitution and we won't buy that. We won't buy that and what that won't. Okay, we will fight against, against that.